the whole law enforcement community came together last night and and helped to um, reach a resolution, I guess, uh, to, to some extent. Um, but they were able to secure dorms and, and building after building because they had the manpower to do it because, you know, different counties and, and different law enforcement uh, and police stations uh, got together. And there were hundreds of, of them that came from all over the state to help out. And that was really cool to see and, and, and hear about. Um, and the, the response time was quick. You know, I mean, it, it was campus police or if, it, or if it was East Lansing police or whatever that were there quickly after the, the, the shots were fired at Berkey Hall. Um, and then to have to respond immediately a few hundred yards away at the uh, at the union you know they were on it and to think how tough that situation was last night because it is night it, it's it's the dark of night because the only description you have on the shooter was a short man wearing a mask I mean, that, that's all they had to go on for the first several hours of this and it was um it was just it was terrifying in to 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 watch it unfold and there was nothing that you could do. I mean, the the the, the drill is <laughs> shelter in place, mm -hmm. and it's so hard to tell somebody that's what you have to do. Um, because unfortunately, you feel, like, you feel like it's going on around you, and safety has to be elsewhere. Right, <laughs> right, it has to be elsewhere. But you're being told, but stay where you're at. The last thing that police need with a, a shooter at large is people all over the place. Right, and, and the real. <sighs> One of the real sad points about this whole thing is that these students were drilled on this. You know, we weren't. <laughs> we didn't have to go through this crap when we were students. And this group of students has gone through this because that's the world we live in today. Too many damn school shootings. And, you know, you hear the stories of the, the, the kids from Oxford that went to Michigan State. Now they have to go through this twice in a lifetime. Find out that one of the students at Michigan State, maybe, maybe, yep. There's a report that that uh, one of them is a a survivor from Sandy Hook, mm -hmm. you know, is, and she had to deal with this ten years ago, and she was 11. It's just, it's an unbelievable tragedy what happened last night, and obviously there's there's a million questions people want to know, and a lot of it is centers around the shooter. What the hell was a 43 year old doing at Berkey Hall or at the student union? You know what? What was the purpose? What was? What's the connection? What's going on? And I don't know if we'll ever find out because the alleged student shooting suspect took his life. Um, you know, in in, this, in the middle of the street in Lansing, a few miles away from where the original shootings took place. So I don't know if we're ever going to get those answers, but I, I sure hope we do, and I hope it can provide some closure. But <laughs> you just you feel for the parents that. You know, I'm not a parent, but good God, I feel for the parents that go through that. I have enough of my friends that have kids that go to Michigan State, kids that have graduated from Michigan State, kids that are considering Michigan State. Um, and this isn't just a Michigan State thing. This is this is every school. Because I imagine as the events were unfolding last night and parents are being told, do not come to East Lansing and pick up your kids. You know, it, it, we've got this shelter in place going on. We don't want anybody in or out of campus. We have to lock it down. Then I have to imagine that parents of kids that are at Michigan or at Eastern Michigan or, you know, wherever, Western, Central, Northern, Alma, Albion, doesn't matter where, that those parents are starting to call their kids and, and asking if they want to come home. It's It affects everybody in, in, in different ways. And unfortunately, last night it's you know hits hardest with the Michigan State community and three people, uh, innocent people, tragically dead. So and others that are in critical condition. And then this one, like the Oxford shooting, you know, I know some, I know two people there in the Oxford community, um, but not everybody does. You know, we bought a lot of people bought the shirts and donated, and and did what they could to support Oxford, even if it was just sending thoughts and prayers, a social media post, retweeting something, whatever it might be. I would suspect that within the listening audience today, a much, much, much higher percentage knows someone at Michigan State. Yeah. 
whether it be their child, whether it be their their friend's child, their niece or nephew, whether it be you went there yourself like we did and have great familiarity with all of these places yeah. that that represent such a great time of of you know growing up and learning and sort of the transition from childhood to adulthood which you know most people look back as the greatest time of their life and to have this kind of tragedy tragedy disrupt that is it's awful and um you know it feels like i mean who didn't text a friend that say hey is your kid okay hey is your i mean i know we've reached out to three different families that we knew my son who's at michigan you mentioned how it affects that community their whole house stopped locked in on the coverage and started texting their friends at michigan state um and making sure that people were okay. And the sad part about it is there's people sending texts to phones that aren't getting answered this morning. And it, that's, that's heartbreaking. It's yeah. absolutely heartbreaking. And you said it happens too much. Do you know how many school shootings ago of all the Texas was? <laughs> I don't know. Does Evaldi seem like it was that long ago? No. That was 31 school shootings ago. 31. I mean, that that's, that's depressing. And I feel like we've given up. I feel like we've given up. And I don't know what it is that has to change. I'm not smart enough to know that. But there are people in charge who have to figure out what it is. Because that was 31 school shootings ago. That's unbelievable. It is.